and today I'm going to be doing if you like this and you'll like that book recommendation. I did this three times in the past and I'll link the previous videos down below so you guys can check them out. This time I actually have struggled find some things that are like similar to each other and, and finally I got to a lot of book recommendations for specific books from you guys and I'm just really excited to share them with you so let's get started. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is if you like The Wicked Deep by Shia Earnshaw, you'll like Blood Leaf by um, Crystal Smith. These two are very similar to each other because they both have witches and um, this is like a Hocus Pocus story and this one has um, a, a, a royal um, witch story. So I really liked both of these so much and, or I love them so much I should say, and, and I know not a lot of people like The Wicked Deep, but if they like... Um, loved it as much as I do. I think they will like Bloodly because they're both have witches in them and they're both very different from each other. <laughs> the next one I have for you guys is if you like an Enchantment Ravens by um, Margaret, Margaret Rogerson, you're gonna like Cruel Prince by Holly Black or vice versa. They both have fairies in them and I really enjoy these a lot. I feel like this one it takes place in the fall and this one is just um, combine the world of humans and fairies living in the same world. So I I like both of these so much, and I think people will like them. Uh, like, um, if you like this one, then this one, and vice versa, just because they both have fairies in them. And if you're looking for more fancies with fancy in them, you you get um, get to read these. Now, regardless. The next ones I'm going to be talking about is if you like Sea Witch by Sarah Henning, you're going to like To Kill a Kingdom by Alexa Christel. They're both Little Mermaid's retellings, but this one is a villain's origin story, and this is just a siren um, Little Mermaid retelling. And, and I, lo I, I love Sea Witch, and I really like To Kill a Kingdom. I think they're both very unique, and you don't see a lot of Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid retellings these days, and I just think anybody will like both of these, especially if people who love Sea Witch like I do, they will read um, To Kill a Kingdom because it's also a Little Mermaid retelling, so that's why I recommend these. <laughs> the next one I'm going to be talking about and uh, recommending to you guys is if you like Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, you're going to like A Darker Shade of Magic by V. Schwab. When I've heard about this, this is like a, um, a Harry Potter story, and that's what grabbed me attention most, and I also love the cast of characters and and a darker shade of magic like I do with Harry Potter. That's why I'm also making a, um, a recommendations based on Harry Potter just because it's like another fantasy. This is like more of a, like either adult or young adult fantasy so I would recommend it um, if you are like a little bit older to read this but if you're a big Harry Potter fan like I do I think you will enjoy a darker shade of magic. The next one I'm going to be giving you guys is if you like The Faults in Our Stars by John Green, you're gonna like Every Everything by Nicole and Yoon. These, um, these books have like characters that deals with mental illness in their life and the main character Hazel has cancer while um, Maddie has um, a disease where she's allergic to everything and she can't go outside so that's why I made it compare, um, a co connection between the two cause like there's not a lot of books that have um, teens that have mental illness, especially like um, any, th any mental illness for in general, so that's why I'm making a comparison, and I love The Fault of Our Stars, and I love, uh, like everything, everything, and I just, um, glad that I've read this just because it reminds me of The Fault of Our Stars so much. <laughs> the next one I'm be giving you guys is, if you like um, A Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody, you're gonna like Amber and Dusk by Laura Celine. These um, but both books have main characters that create so illusions. One creates an illusion for a, a circus, and this one just creates illusion just because that's part of her powers of trying to fit in uh, on the palace. So I really liked both. I love both of these, and I like how the main characters are kind of similar to each other just because they have the same powers, but the stories are very different, and that's why I'm making this comparison. <laughs> the last one I'm talking about is if you love. Heart of Iron by Ashley Prosted, like I do. You're gonna like Romanoff by um, Nadine Brentes. This is a. They both of them are different genres, but they're both Anastasia retellings. This is a sci-fi retelling of Anastasia, but this is like a historical um, fantasy retelling of Anastasia Romanoff, and I love both of these so much. They both have a best cast of characters, and plus, especially you will get motion 
know what this one so trigger warning about um, a lot of like things that would make you cry so want to give you that kind of warning but I just I'm starting to love Anastasia more especially like the historical aspects of her because everybody knows the history but and this one is pretty much a um, what I love the most is the sci-fi twist of the um, story of Anastasia while this one is kind of sticks with almost a, an exact historical fact of her but add magical elements to it that's why I'm recommending um, if you like her of iron you're gonna like um, Romanov. <laughs> So that's all for my, my, if you like this scene, you're going to like this book of recommendations. Let me know in the comments down below the, um, books that are similar to the books that you're going to, you recommend to me that I, about, that reminds you of the books that I've talked about today. And yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!